Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show how we can change the background picture of the storefront server. So the image you see on the screen uh, comes with Citrix. So this is the default page you get on Citrix storefront server. Let's say there is a client and the client has its uh, own logo and it has its own uh, quotation. So what they can do is they can change the background image to something else and they can type their quote on the background. Let's say you have Nike or Nike. So they have the quotation as just do it, something like that. If so, if there is a financial company or insurance company or any other client, if they have their own image that they want to keep it on the login page, they can customize it according to the requirement. So they work closely with uh, uh, web designers and also with Citrix administrators to achieve this task. So I will show that to you how we can change the background image of this uh, Citrix default storefront image. Okay, so what we can do is let me go to C drive and inet pub www root Citrix virtual store web receiver images common if you scroll down you see this here it says a receiver full screen background image i'll just expand it okay it says receiver full screen background 46e55 something like that let me open this image okay so this is the image that we are seeing on the storefront server. Let me go back to storefront. Okay, so this is the image that we are seeing right now. So what we can do is we can change this image from this folder location so that it will reflect on the storefront page itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will go to the download section once and there is an image I have. So this is the image that I have downloaded from internet. What I will do is I will try to uh, copy this image that location and see how it goes. OK, so this is the image. I'm going to copy this. OK, and I'm going to that particular folder location. Once again, let me go there. Uh, C INET pub WW root. Citrix, virtual store web, receiver images, common. Okay, so we will replace this image with the new image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just right click on it and I will rename it as old because we are changing this image. I'll type it as old and I'm going to hit enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the new image here. OK, so this is the new image I have copied to this location. OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the old image. I'll go to properties. And I'm going to copy this entire thing here. OK, and I'm going to. Copy this, close it and I'm going to rename it. To that particular name, OK, so I'm renaming it. It says receiver full screen background underscore so and so and I'm going to hit enter. So this is the old one and this is the new one. So the new one, if I click on it, you see the image that we wanted to show it on the storefront front page. OK, so I'm going to close this. OK, so since we have saved it, let's go back and see if the changes have been applied or not. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh this page. Now it should show the new image. OK, let me try once again. Let me close this. Let me minimize this. Let me close this. Let me open the Google Chrome once again. Let me type it now. OK, let me hit enter and see how it goes. OK, it is still showing the old image for whatever reason. It is not showing the new image. So let's troubleshoot. Let's see what is happening here. OK, everything looks good. 
Okay, everything looks okay. Uh, I think it might take some time. Let's wait for a few minutes. Let me hit enter once again and see how it goes. Okay, it is not showing. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me restart the guest once. Give me a minute. So this is a lab environment. That's why I can restart the guest. So sometimes uh, it might take some time to reflect. It should happen automatically, but uh, sometimes it will take some time to reflect. So I'm just trying to reconnect and see how it goes. Okay, let me log in. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, let me try to access the URL once again. We should, if everything is working as uh, as expected, then it should show the new image to us on the screen. All right, if you see now, you see the new image here. You see the new image, it looks good, right? So this is how we can uh, change the background image on the storefront server. So I hope you find this information helpful. So uh, yeah, it looks beautiful, right? <laughs> I just want to you know, cross check once. All right, guys, I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Thank you.